Hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. Well, it is time for a little poetry, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, our next guests, are, of course, are uh, rock stars in the insurance business. Richard Scribe, co-VP of a very successful insurance company, but he is following his heart, and around Vancouver is becoming known as the white-collar poet, and he's joined by his hype man and his insurance <laughs> investor, Oliver Henry. Hi, guys. How are you? Very good, thank you. Very so good. So tell us about poetry and how you discovered it. Um, well, to make a long story short, I came home from work one day to find my wife having relations with an artist. Oh. <laughs> a I, painter. I didn't... A painter? Right. Well, um, that's going to hurt, huh? It, it was unsettling. Uh, so, basically, I just... I left the apartment and I went to, down to my local bar in Yaletown to have a drink. And there was an open poetry slam night and I was like, this is just getting worse. Uh, and then uh, it was it was it was open mic, so you could. I basically wrote something on my phone right there. I got up and, you and did I it? did it. Just gave her. I Oliver, are you gave. okay over there? You look a little uncomfortable. It's okay. It's okay. Oliver has been employed in my uh, in my company for just over a year now. Uh, that's uh, ten, how, ten years. Uh, how, how, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> a year, ten years, Oliver. You go to all the Christmas parties? That's like an adjuster right there, right? Yeah. Details really matter to guys huh. like that sometimes. Interesting. Uh, how much is poetry, how much of a difference has this made in your life? And, and I, I don't know, your are Well, it's, it's basically, it's splitting my life in half. Um, in the office where I work, um, there are employees who get it. And they, they get that I'm just, I'm tapping into basically a creative side of myself. Listen, I'm, I'm working with numbers every single day, so that's just kind of puts me in that box. And now Got I'm the trying. Left to... brain, right brain. Thing exactly. Going on. Uh, my um, my partner, Icarus. He yeah. uh, doesn't get it really. He's scary. He is does. he scary? <laughs> scary. Yeah. Oliver, I, what is your role in all of this? Are you a supporter of Richard's poetry? Well, do you write with him? What do you do? Is well, it because he's your boss and you well, have no, Ic to? Icarus, Icarus said we were not to support Richard in his poetry, but. One board meeting, Richard shared his gift with us, and it it um, it reawoken something that I'd hidden deep deep inside myself. I think myself. we have some footage of that moment. Don't yeah. we? Do we not? Well, well, let's have a look at uh, these two. This is a rare treat. I, I know. This. Kept this hidden away all these years. <laughs> Why? I had to kill the boy band me to become the insurance adjuster me. When you're doing your poem. It just all the dancing and, and the singing and the performing, it all came flooding back to me like, 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 like a flood. We are so in sync. <laughs> I don't know what to say. See, that you'll let me help you put your poetry out there. Really knowing Oliver for just a couple of minutes, there's a depth there. I mean, I was looking into this man's eyes like I was actually seeing down inside of him. I can see parts of myself deep inside of him. Rich touches me in places where I haven't been touched in a long time. That is truly beautiful, <laughs> you guys. All, Oliver, I mean, there was a lot of, you know, really significant moments in, in what we just saw, but there was one thing that sort of stuck out. You said you had to push the, the, the boy band side of you? Yeah, in, um, back in the early 90s, I was, I was in a boy band. Which boy band? Um, we were called Bass which uh, stood for Body and Soul Exposed. <laughs> nice. And um, we, did, we did a couple of malls, you know, we did uh, yeah. one of the malls out in Richmond and a couple of nightclubs. Brentwood Mall, that kind of thing. Hey, uh, uh, so does that side of you help you understand what's going on with Richard? Well, that's it. I think, you know, a, a lot of us reach this stage of our lives and we realize, you know, we had to sacrifice certain th things like fun, you know, for... Yeah, uh, to make a living. To make a living mm -hmm. and... and <laughs> And you, that that little artist, you know, just he just got put in the corner, and through Rich's poetry, it. Uh, and where did his poetry touch you? <laughs> <laughs> right about there. The solar plexus. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, just, it does. Yeah. Right to the solar plexus. You can't plexus, even put yeah. into words where it touches me. Richard, what your experience? I mean, you have no experience in, in performing before this no. or, or anything else. No, so, none at all. Uh, what's that side of it like for you to to put yourself out there? I mean, whether it's a board meeting, whether it's on the street, whether it's at a slam poetry event. How's that experience? That is a fantastic question, Michael. Um, I would say it's like bass jumping. Ah, bass. That's hey! Hey! Body and soul exposed. Yeah, write that it's down, basic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like bass, bass jumping. jumping. That is. That's yeah, good. That works perfect. out well, actually. Um, yeah, it's basically jumping off with a parachute. I mean, you assume it's going to open, but it may not. I mean, I, when I do my poetry, 
I go out onto the street. I stand on top of mailboxes and garbage cans in the yeah. business district, people and I do it. this poetry. And people, some of them get it, and a lot of people are afraid. Like, if I go up to a group of businessmen standing on the corner, more often than not, they are ignoring me. And Oliver, uh, what do you do? Do you, you're well, a hype man? Sometimes and... I, uh, I, I, I beatbox, sometimes I dance. Um, just to help round out the show, um, reach a wider demographic, because, you know, right. sometimes the Black ladies... people. Yeah. <laughs> non whites. And, and the ladies, you know, ladies. And the ladies, yes. The Do ladies, the ladies love the it? The ladies dig the beatboxing. You know, that there was LL Cool James. Oh, I'm O. Henry. Oliver Henry. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's oh, good. it all makes uh, sense now. <laughs> yes, we would be sense. remiss if, if we didn't... Like sort of ask for a performance from you guys. Are you, is that cool? Are you prepared? Not really to do prepared, this? but I guess we could. A little sure. something. Come on. Absolutely. Thank uh, you. Just yeah. uh, maybe to, to that camera there in the middle, right. and and they'll sure. give you a nice wide shot. Go for it. You both have to be in this. Or you're, oh Henry. Oh, he's just gonna do what uh, what moves him. Okay. Sure, right to my right there. I told you those were penguin chinos. <clears throat> oh yeah. That's why the fit's so good. <laughs> This poem is called Poetry Fury. In the business world, we wear ties to cut off the brain from the heart because it's hard to spare time to mix business with art. I try to think outside the box, inside the box, but sometimes I feel like a rabbit running from a fox. I scurry and I hurry. I stare at my computer till my vision is blurry. A left brain prisoner convicted by a jury, but I'm breaking out with my poetry in a fury to open up people's minds, to make the businessman and woman feel alive. Monday to Friday, nine to five, so let down your hair, and you loosen that tie, and give a little love to your brain's right side. Oliver, hey, please don't right. hurt yourself. Sorry. Fellas, just... thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you know what? These guys have been nice enough to upload some of their stuff on the internet. So if you want to hear more of this amazing poetry, perhaps some of Oliver's wonderful dancing and beatboxing, you can find them on their website. Yeah, and if you happen to be walking through the business district around when Richard takes his lunch break, uh, you might uh, be lucky enough to experience one of his performances as Thanks, well. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for Excellent. joining us. Thank you. Oh, Thank great you. job, man. Putting the word out there. <laughs> the, it's it's not. Okay. The green room isn't actually green. No, no never no. is, is it? I'm learning. This is so exciting <laughs> to be on We're going to take a it break. It doesn't go with red. And when no. we return...